morning or afternoon or whatever. It is Sunday, April 1st. Uh, happy April Fool's Day to all of you. Um, am I a practical joker? Me, maybe. But the purpose of my blog today, as you can tell by the title, is Blood Ties. It's a new shelf I found on Lifetime. I'm so excited about it. It's on every Sunday night at 10 p.m., which is perfect because I get to watch Housewives, and then I get to go right over and watch Blood Ties. Or what I've been doing is just DVDRing Blood Ties and watching it later on. Um, it's about vampires and supernatural and all that stuff. But Dylan Neal also plays in it. Some of you guys may not remember him. Dylan Neal. Um, was a soap actor, I think he played on Young and the Restless, or Bold and Beautiful, or one of those CBS shows. Then he also started, he went to Dawson's Creek, he was Pacey's older brother. Then, he was on a short-lived uh, show, Hyperion Bay, with Mark Paul Gosser. So, yeah, okay. Anyway, besides that, um, let me give you a little information about it. Where is it? Oh, right up here. Okay. Here's the information about Blood Ties. If you want to see it, you can go to lifetimetv.com slash shows slash shows slash blood ties. And here's a little bit about the show. After being asked to unravel a bizarre murder case, private investigator Vicki Nelson realizes that uncovering who or what the killer is may be a lot harder than for her typical case. During a stakeout, the ex-cop meets Henry Fitzroy, who looks to be an irresistibly 20-something playboy, but claims he's actually a 450-year-old vampire. Though she has trouble swallowing his story, Henry was interesting insight into, has interesting in, ha, has interesting insight into her case. So Vicky teams up with him to nail the killer. But things get complicated. When sparks ignite between this unlikely pair and Vicky's ex-partner and former flame, who immediately distrusts Henry, takes an undue interest in the new partner's undeniable electric connection. Blood Ties is actually based on Tanya Huff's best-selling Blood Books novel. Follow Vicky as she finds follow Vicky as she finds her finds herself more and more drawn to probing the unexplainable, leading her to walk a line between the supernatural and earthly worlds. <laughs> Torn between the man, the man on either side. Vicky is played. There we go. Vicky Nelson is played by Christina Cox. Um, Vicky's a so called assistant in her detective agency. Um, Corrine Fennell is played by Gina Holden. And. Mike, who is the ex boyfriend, ex partner of Vicky, is played by oh, none other than Dylan Neal. And Henry Fitz Fitzroy is played by Kyle Schmid. I think I pronounced his last name right. Oh, Kyle is amazing. Um, all the characters are amazing. Um, there's some things about Vicky um, I like. It's unique. It's got the great drama, horror, um, the suspense. It's not your typical harm thing. Um, it's insightful. Um, if you like Supernatural, I would say watch it. If you like Dylan Neal, watch it. If you like drama, watch it. If you're looking for something new and exciting, watch it. Um, it's one of my best shows. It's one of the best shows um, next to Housewives. Um, if I were to rate it on a rating of 
one to five stars. And I've only seen what, three episodes so far. It's been on. This week will make number four. I would give it five stars. It's going to get extremely good, I think. Lifetime has a winner on their hands. Um, just like they had with, um, what's it called? Best Medicine? I don't remember. Um, but they, when Lifetime just shows, they do them, they, they do them well, and it's the best thing in the world. Um, again, Blood Ties. Sunday nights, 10 p.m. on Lifetime. If you don't have Lifetime, which I think everybody has Lifetime anymore, because I think that's like part of like the normal TV package. Request it. Not Lifetime Movie Channel. Lifetime itself. Um, do it. Watch it. You'll enjoy it. Um, it's not really scary. So don't for those of you that don't like horrors, don't worry about it. It's not scary. It's suspenseful. If you like murder mysteries, dramas, action, suspense, there you go. Even if you like horror. I mean, I like all of those. So go ahead, do it, watch it, enjoy it, have fun. Check it out on LifetimeTV.com slash shows slash blood ties. You will be amazed. Also on, the, on that website, that webpage, there's a um, 11 question quiz to take um, about your knowledge on horror film and supernatural and all that stuff. I took it. And um, I got 6 out of 11 right. What they told me was <clears throat> I find I stand a fighting chance. And here's what they said. I'm going to read it to you. You may not be ready to slay the demons, but at least you know enough to turn and run if you see one coming. Be careful. If you don't have all your monster facts straight, the creatures of the night might get you yet. The best way to arm yourself is with a first-rate supernatural education. Start by watching Blood Ties, premiering March 11th, which I already did, and I have. I am very grateful to Lifetime. Thank you. It, I have waited a long time for a show like this. Um, the most recent show that could, come, that could come to mind is the remake of Dark Shadows from 1990 that starred Ben Cross as Barnabas Collins. So, there you guys have it. Um, it's really going to be a short one for me. Almost. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. Hope you guys are doing well. Sorry I was waiting for so long. I promise not to do that again. Um, and there might be another one coming today. Alright. Have a great April Fool's Day. Play practical, play lots of practical jokes on people. Will I? Maybe. Maybe not. I have two roommates and a cat to deal with, so. Like a lot of fun there. See ya.